Hey guys, so today we're going to create a quick counter app in Xcode. So let's open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view application, product name, counter app, next, create, go to our, let's go to our main.storyboard file, Click and drag a button to the top left corner of the view controller and drag that all the way down to the bottom right of the view controller just to cover the full screen. Now click and drag a label to the center of the view controller and another button to the top right corner of the view controller. Now click on the button that covers the whole screen. Erase the title and set the background color to, I'm just going to make it green. Now we want to spread a, our label all the way out to the, cor the edges and make it slightly wider since we're going to make the text bigger. And center it again. Now center the text. I'm just going to change the color to gray real quick. Font, custom, Heidi TC, the family Heidi TC, and the style to medium. And we're going to change the size to 25. Just to get a give a quick look of what it looks like with numbers. I'm just going to do that. All right, now click on our top right button and just set that to reset. Set the title to reset. Now we want to head over to our viewcontroller.h file. And right after the UI view controller, do an open bracket, bracket press enter, and then a, cur a closed curly bracket will automatically appear. Now we want to cre create some outlets so we can name the label and create a new integer. So IV outlet, UI label, star label and end it with a semicolon. Now we're going to create an integer, so int number. Now that's it for naming things. Now we're going to create some more some actions. So I dash IB action add or just addition And then another IV action, which says reset. And close it with a semicolon. Now we want to click and drag to copy and paste those two actions into our viewcontroller.m file. And replace the semicolon with an open cur curly bracket and just press enter so you could get the closed curly bracket. So in the addition, we want to say number plus equals one. End it with a semicolon. And then in our reset, number equals zero. Now that changes the number, but we also need to update the label. So let's say label equals bracket open bracket close bracket ns string and inside those brackets say ns string string with format string with format at quotation marks percent d inside those quotation marks then after those quotation marks create a comma and the integer. Now copy and paste that label, uh, that command that we just created into our reset but action and also our view did load action. Oh, I'm sorry, I also forgot. Label.text equals, so just change that real quick. So label.text equals ns string 
string with format at quotation marks percent d number comma number and end it with a quotation mark now we want to head over to our main dot storyboard file open up our editor our assistant editor and drag the ib actions to addition and reset then head on over to our view controller.h file and connect our label outlet to our label so there you go that is the app so we're just going to build that app and i will get back to you as soon as the app is loaded now that the app is loaded you can see that the t that the label changed to zero which is the automatic number for any integer that you create and then when you click on the screen on the green button in the background it changes it by one and then when you click reset it changes it back to zero so thank you guys for joining me in this tutorial hit the like button and i will answer any comments in the comment section so thank you please subscribe bye